Corporate security is not an easy task, and we've been using LastPass for a very long time to manage our company passwords, share information between teams, and even between clients. Though we have switched to a system called Bitwarden about six months ago because we were frustrated with LastPass's user experiences, or should I say their lack of the quality user experiences that we were expecting, they, they're okay in terms of security, though we want something open source, we want something with better team management and better organizational structures to help us manage everything. And that is why we landed on Bitwarden. It is open source, the prices are comparable to LastPass, at least on the team pricing that we have. So I do, this is the one we use, we use the teams. And it's working a lot better for us because the, one of the biggest things and issues that we had with LastPass is that the LastPass drop-down thingy, the little tool thingy, this one's from Bitwarden, but the one from LastPass was always just clunky, rarely worked, had trouble filling things in. And now Bitwarden isn't perfect. It is, so I'll start, start off with this. It The th big thing it's missing is the easiest ability to share users share passwords amongst users who are not in your same organization, such as a client wants to send you login information. Bitwarden isn't the best at that. Actually, it doesn't even have that functionality. It does have Bitwarden Send, which allows you to send an encrypted, either timed, locked, or you can send a message that's encrypted, but that's about it. You can't share outside of your organization. Though, for our usages and the way we've been doing things, this has been much better because we do have SSO integration, which I'm going to be getting soon because we are having our own in-house LDAP server for user management, which is going to be great for us. So we're going to be using that. But for now, we're just using the team one. And everything for us is organized inside of our organization. And here inside of Bitwarden, we have all our information. We have all our team information sorted by the people. We organize we have everybody and organized in their own proper user roles. Inside of that, we have collections, collections based upon the general grouping of shared information that we need to give to give, give to team members. Groups, groups, generally a user doesn't get access directly for us with Bitwarden. They get added to a group, such as development group, the development B team, leadership team, management team, There's, we have different teams and we're gonna be expanding this out such as we're, we're, I have to add a social media and content team in here as well. And they're gonna have their own set of logins. And on top of that, of course, you can also add people directly or share directly to a user. And just like the other tools, you have you know password scanning, unsecured passwords, inactive 2FA reports. And that's one thing that we're using. We have enforcement uh, as a company policy for 2FA. We have, we have semi-regular scanning of bad passwords along the whole company, what we're using. So making sure that we have, well, everything secure, at least as on our end, as well as we can. And for us, this interface is working faster, more secure, and far less clunky than LastPass ever was. And that's not to hit on LastPass as a bad thing. It's a wonderful tool, especially with the ability to, sh to share passwords across accounts. That's wonderful. Internally, this is by far better because also one of our next steps for 2022 is to bring the hosting of the Bitwarden server in-house to be so it's completely secure behind a VPN. And that's not something that you can do with LastPass. With Bitwarden, you can, and even better, once you get Bitwarden Premium, like we have, we have a nice little subscription somewhere here that we're paying for Bitwarden, the premium features get moved and added to the personal accounts. So I have all these cool tools at the company level. I have the same type of tools somewhere, somewhere, <laughs> I don't remember where, there it is, T tools. All these same kind of tools available to me at the user level, which we use a lot, seriously. We use it to scan our own passwords. We use a password generator a lot. Uh, for example, I usually recommend people use a password of 67 with all the characters and avoid ambiguous characters. And I just tell them, go use this, never remember passwords, always use this. 
and it does have mobile applications and the web applications and web widgets. It is for us far more secure, syncs faster, less clunkier, and overall works better than any other system that has worked for us. Are there other systems? Yes. For us though, we have settled on this because for us it is phenomenal and it just works. And we do recommend others look at this as well, especially if you are frustrated with LastPass is user experience and clunkiness of the interface. For us, that was the biggest thing. For example, one time a client was trying to share passwords with us. They shared it, except for some reason, LastPass kept sharing an outdated password, even though the user, the client, has updated the password. It never synced properly, no matter what we tried. So we got tired of these things. We started sharing things this way. And for us, it works. So we do recommend if you are looking for something different, this is a way that you can manage your team, manage your users, still sort of share you, because they have Bitwarden Send, which is actually really fun because you can set some options such as when this send thing expires and they have a dark mode, which is what I'm using here, dark mode, when it ex how, how long until it deletes itself, when to expire this thing, how many times somebody, something can be accessed, should you give it a password to see. I love this send thing. Really easy to send something very securely and guarantee somebody receives it and only the person who's supposed to, which is pretty cool. So that's what we use and it works really well for us. So I recommend you take a look. We'll be doing a more in-depth video on a proper in-house bare metal setup of Bitwarden and how you can do this yourself, and also how to actually structure your team's collections and processes in Bitwarden to have a safe, secure, and efficient corporate secure network. Until next time, bye.